And Adam Claybon tracking that extended forecast for us. Hey, it's looking nice. So we have the state fair and that's going to be around here for the next few days, actually for the next few weeks. And if you're heading out that high heat that we were dealing with, we get a little bit of it back tomorrow. We're back around the mid 80s down in Puyallup and then you'll see those numbers falling into the 70s and the low 80s for Saturday and Sunday, even a patchy area of drizzle or two throughout the earlier half of Saturday. I think we'll see more clouds definitely Saturday than what we're expecting tomorrow or into Sunday, but each day will start off it looks like with at least some cloud coverage in place and lows mainly now in the 50s. Welcome to September. More 70s on the way Saturday, Monday and Tuesday with highs on Friday and Saturday, holding on to more of those low to mid 80s. Average highs now beginning to fall back into the mid 70s and it took a little while before we warmed up today, but Everett, we're now beginning to get back into those 70s live right now. Seeing a lot of the blue skies, which did show up here early into the afternoon while areas here closer to uh, Seattle took a little while. We still have that haze showing up in the skies. That marine layer took a while to burn off, but we're at 76 winds coming out of the west at seven miles per hour. Pretty comfortable if you're heading out here later this afternoon or into the evening. Low 80s Olympia right now in Puyallup sitting at 82 in Shelton 60s out along the coast and then 70s for us in Everett 77 in Arlington and currently sitting at 72 in Bellingham and that's where we see the major differences right now in comparison to yesterday as an air mass has now fully made its way here. And so we're going to keep those temperatures more so around the 70s here for the evening. And then tomorrow we'll get a little more sunshine earlier on, which will help to get a lot of those numbers back into the 80s. Set up pretty much the same from what we had yesterday. You can see this band of clouds is now moving a little farther south, and we still have this spinning area of low pressure out over the Pacific. That will be drawn up and heading into British Columbia, but it is going to help to enhance some of the cloud coverage later tomorrow night and into early Saturday for those patchy areas of drizzle that we're expecting into that time. Here as we go on into this evening, expect to see those clouds return, especially in those spots that have seen more sunshine here throughout the afternoon. Tomorrow morning, 9 o'clock, we're dealing with the cloud coverage again burns off, so we'll see the sunshine by the afternoon. We'll go into tomorrow evening looking like it's going to be really nice tomorrow night into early Saturday. We are seeing a little more of a return showing up as far as any sort of precipitation, so a few drops of rain here or there possible. Definitely nothing too heavy by any means at all. Those chances are going to be really small and they're going to start us off early into Saturday and then they'll eventually burn off and I think we'll get some sun, but it will mix in with more clouds as we head on into Saturday as opposed to seeing just complete sunshine into the afternoon there. Then we'll get more into the clouds as we go into Saturday night early into Sunday with more sunshine to come into the afternoon to help us back up near 80 degrees by that day. 56 for a low tonight in Bremerton will dip down to 57 in Puyallup. Now Vernon down to 57 Everett down to 59 degrees. Highs tomorrow a lot of 70s, some low 80s around Arlington topping off at 80 there. We'll see 83 in Bellevue, Renton at 83 degrees, Monroe hitting 82, 70s for Linwood on off towards the south, seeing highs in the low to mid 80s for Gig Harbor, Olympia, Tacoma, Lakewood, Shelton at 82 degrees, the coast, more 60s to low 70s, plenty of sunshine by the afternoon, and then more clouds around for the earlier start, but it looks like, yeah, pop-up shower storm around, but I think a lot of heat really more the main story for tomorrow for the eastern side of the state. Here's your seven-day forecast. We got 84 tomorrow, we got 81 on Sunday, but a lot more 70s now showing up now as we're heading into September Labor Day. We'll see a few clouds in the morning, but generally should be sunny.